Welcome back to another video. I have something that will help you go from a NA tune to a boosted tune with relative ease. And this is called table scaling. You use it typically on your fuel table and your ignition table when you go from an NA to a boosted tune. Um, but it can be used in a lot of other tables in Tuner Studio. Uh, here are the two, for example, behind us. We have the fuel table and we have the ignition table right here. And so the example we're going to use in this video is for the fuel table. And I'll make it nice and big so everyone can see. And what, you, what we're trying to accomplish when we go to a boosted tune from an NA tune is just adding resolution in the fuel table above 100 kPa. So right here you can see 100 kPa on the fuel load, that's as high as it will go. So if we're going to make 200 kPa, like one bar of boost, 14 psi, 15 psi-ish, we're going to need to have more cells in the table that are scaled to allow you to tune for that much boost. And we can easily do that by pressing this button down in the far left hand corner, the bottom. It's called Toggle Rebin XY. Now when you click this, uh, Let's make sure this actually scales nice in this other view. When you click this, um, it will allow you to change the values. And then once you've changed the values to add some resolution up top, on the bottom hand, right hand side, you can hit apply X, Y values and interpolate Z. And it will interpolate all of this, all of the values uh, up top in the table, and it will push them down and interpolate them to wherever you move this 100 to. So if say you, you move it to the middle here, you in a 16, uh, 16 row height column on uh, like the Megasquirt 2 like this, you can go in and, and set 100 to here. It will interpolate all these values down and try to give you a more blended table. Um, but you typically will have to go back and do some touch-ups to make sure that it runs really well um, in those areas where it has interpolated. But it will get you pretty close. Uh, one caveat to this is in certain firmware versions of the Megasquirt 2, you may have to go into your, your settings. Let me uh, close this back. You may have to go into your settings over here on the left basic and load settings and go to gauge set limits. And over here where it says load KPA max, this is how much um, it will, this is how much the overall tune expects to see in boost pressure in the in the load table so you need to make sure this is above the boost pressure that you're um, that you plan on running so even being set to 400 it will give you plenty even up to 200 kPa or, or, or more you can just make it well above uh, what you're planning to use it for anyway that's just one thing that it will block you on this function if you're trying to do it and this is lower than uh, your desired boost level but let's get back to the fuel table and let's go ahead and give this a shot. So over here on the bottom left, click that rebin tool and we're just gonna slightly resize this rebin table so you can see it clearly. And uh, it depends on how much boost you're gonna run. If you're only gonna run a few pounds, you can just move this 100 kPa down a couple and then add like 120, 140 kPa and call it good. But for a lot of people, I think around one bar boost or a little bit more is going to be uh, suitable. So we'll, we'll try to plan on that. So what I typically like to do is say we're gonna run 14 PSI, 200 KPA-ish of boost. I like to give yourself a little bit above that. So if you over boost, you still have a, a part of the fuel table that can reach those areas and or it gives you a little room to turn it up a bit, which we all know we're gonna turn it up. So um, if we come down, there's four, there's eight, so we'll just leave the four, five, six, seven, eight right here. We're gonna leave that half the table for for a boost. And then we'll start the 100 right here. So we'll go 100 KPA. And then we'll go like 120, 140, 160, 180, and then 200. And we could do like 210 and to 20 and like 230. Even though if you're gonna go about, if you're gonna be right around 200, 
this will leave you some room to grow. And in the future, if you really wanted to run a lot more boost, you could either rescale some of this table or you could make these like 2, 4, you know, 2, 30, uh, 2, 60, and like, you know, 2, 90 or something like that. You could really just add more boost by changing the table and then and throwing these in. Although if you're going to run that much boost, you might want a little more resolution. But anyway, just for the sake of this, we'll just go back to like 210, 220, and then 230. Okay, and then when we come back down here, we're gonna to need to fix this NA part of the table and roughly just make them as equal as possible. You can take 30, which is about the lowest you'd run, and 100, subtract 30 from 100, that gives you 70 uh, KPA of resolution that you need, and then you can divide that by the number of cells, and it will give you an equal amount to split between these. But just for sake of making it easy, you can just come in here and go 90, um, 80 and then 70 and then 60 and 50 40 just something like that 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 see how easy that is and yeah and as long as you're not going as long as you're not planning on um, revving the motor past 7500 uh, you'll be good with this down here and you can absolutely go and change these and scale them too um, the, other, the only thing that I would say is if your motor, you're only ever going to plan to rev to like 6,500 RPMs, absolutely go change your end value to 6,500 and interpolate in between because you'll just waste the part of the table that's higher than your motor will ever rev to. So you'll waste a lot of this area that you could be using as usable fuel table. Um, but for this case, let's just assume that the motor has uh, can rev to 7,500 or thereabouts. So we've got our, our values that we desire over on the left and we just go over to the right hand side bottom part of this window and it says apply new XY values and interpolate Z. So this hit that and you can see right here it's interpolated a lot. So from 100 down you can see it's added a, a ton in there. Um, you can see the beginning value here if you just hover over it it's 62 and it's now 74 and almost all the map is like that. So. Now we can hit close and our fuel table has been scaled. Now, uh, one caveat, this is a little bonus. If you're going to go tune straight away and you're tuning a, a boosted engine and you've already tuned up to 100 kPa, as long as the highest values for 100 kPa are the same as where you started on the old tune, you'll be safe up to, up to your 100 kPa NA but everything above that, you're gonna absolutely wanna go in and add, uh, add fuel. And the reason you want to do that is because you're gonna need more fuel as, uh, as you up the boost and go out tuning, even if you're using auto-tune or you're gonna tune from a log or something, you wanna make sure that you have more, uh, you're gonna wanna make sure you have more fuel in here than you need because you don't want to hurt the motor hitting boost and, and not having a sufficient, a sufficient amount of fuel. So you're going to want to go in here and you can just manually turn these up a little bit or if you want to do it uh, a little bit smoother you can do this multiplication scale by and if you want to raise it by 20 percent you can see right here it just says by 1.2 so hit 1.2 hit OK and that should give you plenty of fuel to work with. It'll probably be really rich. Uh, you can see there's a big, a big change right here, but you'll be safe. And if you're using auto-tune, auto-tune will just slowly trim the fuel out uh, in those areas, but it'll get you something to start with and you can work your way up slowly into uh, these boosted areas. And you could even come up here if you're really gonna go up high and just add more fuel. Um, in these higher boost areas than that 20% that I originally scaled it, it scaled it by. But anyway, uh, you can do this exact same thing to your ignition table or other tables that have that uh, function down in the bottom left hand side. So don't be afraid to give this a try. Hopefully this gets you guys going on your boosted applications. And thank you for watching. I really appreciate everyone who watches my videos. It is a pleasure to 
make some videos that are educational and I really like helping the community out. If this helped you, go ahead and leave a comment. I like to read them and uh, hear about your projects that you're working on. So thanks again.